Yep. What up, everybody? Welcome back. Got a Mox Diamond here. I do like a good old Mox Diamond. Money, Frank. Money. Sounds good. Yeah, that uh, that sounds about right. I can't argue with that. I got my second shot today and was planning on watching it, but I figured I'd catch him. Man, congrats, Lag Monster. Really, 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 I don't want to say proud of you, but excited for you. I'll say that. I'll take Mox Diamond. Oh, followed by an ancient, ancient Tombe. It's not bad. Also, Scalding Tarn, pretty good. This keeps us open, though, so let's stay open. I'm proud of you. Tannin's proud of you. I simply having a merry cubes miss time. Got a verdant and windswept teeth. Don't know what direction it's taken me. Uh, I want to take verdant catacomb, I think. Like, none of these cards are worth going in any certain direction. But Verdant Catacomb does things that I like. So does Creeping Tar Pit. Ooh, Oracle of Moldaya. Ooh, let's take an Oracle of Moldaya. Katie had actually no side effects from, from her, her doses, which was great. So I'm going to take Oracle of Moldaya. Simply drafting in the Vintage Cube. Um, I do like a Thieving Skydiver a lot. Garrick's fine. Um, Molly McDully. Wouldn't it be Molly McDolly? Mull or Molly McDully? I don't know what's going on. Crazy how different it is for each person. Yeah, almost, almost like the Vintage Cube, you know? I don't know. I think it's either Garrick or Thieving Skydiver here. I cannot whistle, and when I hear others do it, I am a little jealous. <laughs> oh, that actually, I mean, I laugh, but that's still kind of sad. And not like it, not like a pathetic kind of way, but in like a, I feel bad for you, buddy. I'm deliberately not going to whistle. So as to not make you jealous. I have an Ugin. Just buy a whistle. Hmm. Also, Ashiok is good. It puts us squarely into the colors that we want. But then it's an Ugin. But then it's an Ashiok. Hmm. Ugin? Ashiok. Ugin. Ashiok. Ashiok. Oh, a fallen shinobi? <sighs> now they're just giving it to me. Now they're just making it easy. Hey buddy, you like Ashiok? <laughs> that's a that's a solid meme. Oh, this one's, I'm gonna pour this one out for my old buddy Super Fritz right here. You're a four drop. Don't, don't kid yourself. No one's hard casting you. Phantasmum is coming back? Yeah, alright, I'll take Phantasmum. Oh, Rex Sage? I love a Rex Sage in the main deck. That guy just deals with so many problems. That you may have, you may run into. Maybe you run into some problems. Damnation's fine. We can either take Wall of Roots, which does let us ramp. I'm going to take the Wall of Roots. I'll take a plow under, sure. Why not?
this is looking pretty. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I have no idea what that new mod emote is saying. Could be good, could be bad. Nobody knows. It's whatever you want it to be, really. Oh, uh, search is fine. Wow, that's a literal last pick metal worker? Come on, dude. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Everybody's emoting quite quite effectively here. I'm proud of all your emotes. Oh, polluted delta. When in doubt and there's no power, take an on color fetch land. Yeah, I'm good with it. Oh, pretty cringe. Oh, that's sad. Oh, I like a Demir Signet here. Hopefully questing or Euro or Remand come back. Probably not Remand, but I'm going to take the Demir Signet. Oh, it's hell of a dude. A demo? I think people are. I think people are just passing this demonic tutor. I, I, I get demonic tutor so late. They know that it gets any card, any card you want. So when you get a time walk or an ancestral, that that's just that. It's just that thing. We're gonna scarab god here. We haven't scarab god in a while. <laughs> oh dear. Man, if people think DT is only for storming, those people are stupid. Those people are stupid. Why are those people stupid? I mean, prime time is. I was gonna take course of portal, but I mean, it's prime time, right? Like, come on. Um, Green Sun is actually really good if we can get, like, a Leovold or... I mean, I think it's probably better than just random Nissa. Especially because it, it just doubles our, our number of Rex Sages. Huh. Don't care about Wall of Blossoms. Scrubland is nice. Doesn't turn any of our lands into anything better, though. Yeah, I'll just take Null Priest here. Cryptic Command in my three color deck, it's not gonna. And like Torrential Gearhook being the other pick, that's like, I'm just gonna take Duress here. It's not exciting, but what are you gonna do? Thrag Tusk is a reasonable card for our side, Bizzle, as the kids say. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Oh, what up, Unforgiven? The first thing I hear coming to stream is wonderful. That's 
it's March, but like my my front lawn and and street outside are just covered in snow right now. So I don't know what to tell you. It's Chris. It's always Christmas somewhere, buddy. I do get royalties. You don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> you know, that doesn't sound correct. Eh, dark petition. None of the cards I wanted came back. That's unfortunate. No Euro, no Remand, no Questing Beast. That's okay. We have no lands to fetch other than basics right now. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Grandpa bought a bits. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this ancestral or uh, ancestral assassin's trophy. Give me that trophy. None of these cards are good for us. I'll just take this Woe Strider. Rager goes right into the sideboard. Not particularly a playable card in the vintage cube. I don't know why it's here, but all right. All right, no power again. Library of Alexandria. I don't think I want that in our three-color deck. I think we're pushing with Ancient Tomb already. So I'm going to take this other piece of kind of power, which is a, a treachery. Oh, Oko and a bribery in the same pack? Oh, my God. I Koopa, thank you for the resub. Buddy, I appreciate you. I have you in the background while I'm working, so if you could once in a while sing a nice melody, that would be great. I'll see what I can do. I think Oko is actually better than Bribery. I'm going to take the Oko. We'd really like some lands here that that we can search for with our with our thing. We got a Bribery? I took the Oko. Oko is the best Planeswalker ever planted. It's not as the best Planeswalker ever planted. <sighs> Cultivate is fixing. It's not terrible. Oh, Misty? Oh, Watery Grave? Oh, dang it. Yeah. Our literal third perfect perfect fetch land, but also a land we can get with both Pluto Delta and Verdant. I think we got to take the Watery Grave here. And ideally, Blooming Marsh comes back. We're passing a Fractured, but we have no white, so I'm not going to gonna beat myself up about. Shut up and take my money. Strict Saving starts in a week? Oh, my God. I couldn't even see this. I think it's Baron Von Vaderham. That is my guess. I'm going to find out in one second when I open this. Oh, Tropical Island? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got real excited, guys. Oh, Golgari Signet seems good for us. Oh, yeah. Two on-color Signets, all three fetches, or two fetches and two, two dual lands. I like it. Not looking too, too shabby. Okay. We have... It was Baron Von Vaderham. What a sneaky biscuit. I kind of want Stomping Ground here because we have Scarab God, and if we can get a white source, we can... Uh, not Scarab God, Golos. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can take Stomping Ground here. I do like an Acidic Slime. Okay, I owe you for keeping me sane during the past two weeks of on-call rotation at work. Plus, my wife got her permanent... Uh, faculty offer and we're shopping for houses now. Oh my god, Baron Vaderham, congrats, buddy. That's awesome, dude. Holy smokes. Dude, that's awesome news. Congrats, Areno, for that. Way to go. 
I'm going to take this because we don't need any of the other things. And it's just a free land we can put in our deck, which is kind of sweet. Oh, a Sorolf came back? Also Grave Daddy? Oh, Grave Daddy seems real good here. Yeah, I can easily... The thing I like about Null Priest, though, keep in mind, is that it's a very easy enabler for Fallen Shinobi. It has Menace. It comes down early. I'm actually going to take Elves of Deep Shadow out. I do like Null Priest. Probably take Duress out here. You know what? You don't deserve it. Thank you. Oh, I love Woodfall Primus, but I'm just going to take Blooming Marsh here. Tenenbaum. Thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. I always wanted to be a Tenenbaum. I know you did. Oh, Hissing Quagmire came back? Man, lands are getting good. All right, we're unfortunately not a Eureka deck. So, I don't actually know if I love Green Sun Zenith here. I might just want Duress over Green Sun Zenith. We don't have that many. Like, we have, like, Rex Sage and Oracle and Primeval Titan. Yeah, I don't think we're a Green Sun deck. I think we're just going to play the Duress because I think it's good against a lot of decks. Also, we don't have a white source to activate Golos, which is kind of sad. Oh, yeah, because we have Mox Diamond. We could also just play <laughs> awkwardly one planes. We have Cultivate, Primeval Titan, Search for Tomorrow, and Golos himself to get it. <clears throat> Slime's in the sideboard only because we already have five. Well, technically four if you move Shinobi over, but... Or three, rather. Oh, four. No, I was correct. Like, we already have a lot of five drops, and we already have Rex Sage to fulfill this role. And if they have an artifact, like we have Thieving Skydiver, we have uh, several ways, uh, including Oko as well. We have several ways to deal with artifacts without Acidic Slime. I agree it's so good, but I also think Rex Sage just does most of the job of acidic slime this is 23 i'm real tempted to play like <clears throat> one planes here I'm also tempted to play one mountain just for the golos like is that strong enough i don't know i think our mana might be good enough for it I also don't even know if I like Ancient Tomb in this deck, to be honest. <sighs> no, I'm not a big Elves of Deep Shadow fan. We're not a deck that's going to want to play something on turn one. Like, that's the biggest problem. Like, you, you don't just, like... Unless you have a bunch of Elves, you either play a bunch of Elves to maximize your chances of having one drop, or you don't play any. Because... It just doesn't make sense to have one and sometimes mize your one elf rather than like drawing it on turn seven and just not being a good draw. I mean, slime is fine with those cards, but we also have other five drops that are, I mean, just good. I think our mana would probably be fine. We have double signet wall of roots search for our, I think our mana would be fine if we had to just, I think we're not going to play the ancient tomb, which is sad. We're going to play one of this. 
one of this. The reason we're playing a, a mountain by itself is because we have search for tomorrow, cultivate. Uh, maybe we maybe we just rely on like fallen Shino or uh. Green Sun Zenith is only two stages if we haven't drawn the first stage. And also we have like three targets for Green Sun Zenith, as we as we mentioned. Just not just not a great not a great deck for Green Sun Zenith. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten, seven, three, four, five, six, seven. That actually seems really good. We also, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, all right. So this is nine, seven, seven, and then one, one planes and one stomping ground, just for the the random Golos Mises. Plus, that's not even including the signets. Spin the Golos, win a prize. <laughs> I'm trying. Yep, I always forget. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, this is 16 lands in Turn Dipper. What? What are you guys saying? For some reason, I thought you guys were talking about uh, <laughs> me not including it. I'm actually not sure if you can. Uh, it kind of makes sense. I don't know. There's a lot of land spell land spell interactions that are kind of I don't want to say confusing. Today is Thursday. What's happening right now? I think the antibody's having a having a hard time. Ooh, piece of candy. All right, let's get in here. I definitely feel like our deck is uh, not the strongest deck that we've ever drafted. It's very mid rangey. It has some cards that I love, but but. We're going to have a good time today. We're going to get wrecked, and that's going to be okay. Ooh. Ooh, Demo. We're going to get an Oko. We also have Ashiok and Oko, which is kind of cool. Oh, they're tapping out. Oof. That's a big oof. It's going to be Batter Skull. Oh, it's Sword. Interesting. Give me that food. Tasty. Delicious. Oh, they did not attack. Are they missing a land drop? Oh dear. Should we clip that turn to demonic to just people in the future? No, not necessarily because that might not be the best use of the card in the future situations. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to just exchange these. How do we know if Oko's food is delicious? Could be shit. It really could be. They could have Batter Skull in hand. I can't imagine they don't have Batter Skull in hand. So they're going to play Batter Skull. And we're going to trophy that bad boy and help him out. Germ's like, what about me? Well, buddy, you're dead. I, too, love me some Scarab God. We did help them get another land, so that's kind of cool. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe we shouldn't have shouldn't have flipped. Well. I mean, if they want to equip sort of body and mind, Oh, they have Caracas. Oh, man. See, this is also really awkward. They have Caracas on board. Okay. Now they're going to play sword. I'm tempted to take... We should Maybe we should have taken a turn off to get rid of the sword. Yep, you got it. Okay. Swords to Plowshares, Muldrifter, Porcelain Legionnaire. I'm starting to think we... I think the, the game changed when we actually switched control. Uh, swords trigger on combat damage, yes. It's not when they attack or anything crazy. Sure. Kyers, good to see you, buddy. Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna get the job done right here. Right here, right now. Watching the world look up from history. Okay. Well. Well, we're gonna go down to ten. Four cards in our deck, huh? That's something. Like, I can actually feel the incorrect plays being made. It's really weird. Ah. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. We're one minute shy of just activating Scarab God and getting something back.
Yeah, let's just go to the next game. Like, I don't really feel like I'm seeing 10 more cards. See, now we're going to bring in Acidic Slime number two. Take Plow Under out. I definitely don't think we in there. Like, okay, so two mistakes. I, I can definitely, I definitely should have, when they have Caracas on board, I definitely should have just duress the sword out of their hand. Like, I totally forgot about the Caracas. And I shouldn't have switched because keeping Oko alive gives us a significantly better game. Yeah, all right. Okie dokie. So now we're just doing that. Oh, we got a sort of body mind, a disenchant, and an Armageddon. So if we take the sword, we leave them with Armageddon, we play Wall of Roots to Mirror Signet, we got a good out for Armageddon, but then they can disenchant the Signet, and then it's kind of worse for us. I don't care about the disenchant. I think I mostly just want to take Armageddon here. We can deal with sword. What? Okay. Sure. Weird sequencing, but okay. I mean, again, now we're in a situation where, like, do I, should I have taken the sword? I don't know. Am I just going to lose to sword of body and mind two games in a row? Uh, we cannot play wall and leave up trophy because they have Thalia. I mean, we can take five, kill the sword when they play and equip it. Uh, we do not have a turn before they... Oh, um, yeah, we actually do have one turn. That's correct. Sword does cost four here. See, that's a good point. For the same reason I can't Assassin's Trophy. I'm actually, maybe I should have played Null Priest and then I can get in there with Fallen Shinobi. That actually would have been a better play. You see, now, now we're, now we're really playing with power here. Okay, land is nice though. Green, green. Probably ver. So one, two, three. We can go one, two, three for Signet. And then keep up enough mana to, like, activate the... Because right now we have four, five, and then six on their turn. Now we're playing with the Nintendo Power Glove. 
That was not the saying. So we're going to go one, two, three. Demir Sig. No, we're going to actually use one of the greens from this gentleman, right? One, two. Then we have one, two again. Yeah, I'm just going to pass and, and, and keep up the, uh, the, the trophy. I mean, we could have played. I think I'm just messing up by not playing Null Priest here. I don't know. We know they have Disenchant and one other card, which is not super exciting, actually. Maybe it's not your saying, huh? Well, you know, maybe you're onto something. Like, I feel like I'm giving a lot of equity by not just playing Null Priest and, and Fallen Shinobi. I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. So they have one card in hand. We have nothing to get back, so we're just going to hard cast here. Or, you know, not not kick, I guess. I guess they're always hard casting it, but. And then we can probably get a trop here. Thank you. May 1, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay. Also, getting Null Priest back in hand is pretty sweet. But they are going to play another blocker, so. Now we are fashionably way behind. <laughs> well, that's the thing. They just block with 3 3 2 2. Yep, all right. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just hard cast this guy, I guess. Attack there and kill two things? What am I killing two things with? A lot of mana sources we're getting here. Yeah, if they block with like 3-3-2-1 three, three, or like 3-3-1-1, three, three, one, one, like we can't just, you can't ninjutsu if it's blocked. Like that's the whole thing. There's definitely a lot of first strike over there. There's also a lot of lands on this side, so we're, you know, we're getting getting a lot of consistency on both sides. No, you literally, it's literally unblocked. Return an unblocked attacker you control to your hand. Always has been.
Yeah, that's what the T stands for. Correct. Hmm. Well, okay. That's my daddy. That's my grave daddy. I mean, this Muldrich is still going to kill us if we don't find an answer in two turns. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're definitely playing that. Let's get him in there. Doing the deed. Making my way downtown, attacking with all these rare cards. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's, not, I mean, that's not how Menace works, but all right. Oh, it's just still not it's menace. It has menace. There we go. Wow, that was really painful. <laughs> oh boy. Oh deal. Gain two life. Get an extra turn. Um, sure. Oh, the first strike does not. I don't actually get to kill anything because of the first strike. I don't know how first strike works. I'm not very smart. And this is going to win in the game, I'm sure. Bribery. Yep, cool. All right. Would have drawn. Yep, didn't have enough mana for that anyway. Okay, I think we threw that game away. I'm, for some reason, I'm um, not playing very well. Uh, this I think this has been my worst go round of Vintage Cube so far. So hopefully you guys don't mind. Hopefully you guys don't. Uh... The way it works is they get to strike first. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I'm like, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm, like, I feel like I'm just out of it. I've just been really in a funk for the past couple months, and I don't know what to do. It's really frustrating. And, um, like, it's so funny. Like, yeah, like, first strike. I just forget how first strike works. Like, I definitely should have just cast Null Priest. For some reason, I'm like, well, there's no creatures in the graveyard. And, like, I, there's no reason not to cast Null Priest there. Like, I would have had two turns of, like, hits from Fallen Shinobi. Like, it's just terrible. I don't know. I mean, I'm it, the funny thing is I'm realizing the plays after I make after I don't make them. But I'll keep this. We can draw some things. They went to six. We can copy one of their good stuffs. Whatever. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for understanding. And not, uh, not backing me up when I'm, when I'm, you know, confirming how much of a fucking Neanderthal I am, so. Well, I do what I can. I do what I can. <laughs> Let's play this guy. Oh, man. What up, individuals? Sometimes when you're just playing the game for a while, you don't take a break your game. Yeah, it's definitely true. Okay, now I'll play this. Lots of lands. 
we're if we're we're if we're nothing if we're not land rich guys that's for sure for sure i don't even know what i'm saying anymore it's all just it's all just weirdness man i'm just gonna stop talking which is gonna make this entertaining stream a lot less entertaining Oh, it's Little Metal Boy. Another land, huh? Sounds good. Okie dokie. I kind of just want to image this just to have a guy on board, but I know that's terrible, so I'm not going to do it. We understand, but prepare to be lashed by those YouTubers. The, the, the YouTubers are actually pretty decent. I, I, lo I like you guys a lot. YouTubers. Two bubers. <whistles> Let's see how many artifacts you're going to reveal. One? Just one. Okay. Well, I can't plow under. Hmm. Fatal poosh. Let's get rid of that guy. Copy this guy. So we know your hand is these three. Sounds good. Land tax is in the cube. Oh, that's a good draw. What a good draw. The land sounds good. All right, okie dokie. Oh, god, let's not target our own lands. Jeez, can you imagine? So I have noticed that you get flooded more when I watch live. The opposite when I watch on YouTube. So if you need more disconnect from the stream and log in sometime when you are... Uh, so if you need me to disconnect from the stream and log in sometime when you are short land... Yeah, I don't know. We've drawn four spells and one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine lands. Completely reasonable. is unbelievable.
As a dying wish, please win for me. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Deal. Well, now they can get Fallen Shinobi back. We have to wreck stage something. I just don't think we're winning this game either. We're just not meant to win games. And that's fine. That's totally fine. I've watched you do plenty of cube drafts. Nothing that happens to you is unbelievable. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds about right. 16 lands. One Mox Diamond. These two and a Turn Timber Symbiosis. I don't think that's too many. I don't know what's going on, really. Slime does kill their artifacts. Again, like Soda Thieving, Skydiver, Rexage, Assassin's Trophy. Like, the only artifact I really care about killing regularly is, like, Lodestone Golem. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Sure, Garner, you're just naming five drops that are in our sideboard. <laughs> Come on, Josh, get it together. Uh, the, the, the dual lands are from, uh, Vintage Masters. Uh, let's go green, Sigarino. I'm feverish, forgive me. Okay. So any one of our numerous three or four drops would be a great draw here. Sixth land would also be just choice. Absolutely spectacular. Yeah, the silver lining for games like the <laughs> silver lining is that like when you draw spells, you're all right to cast them. I mean, this guy's just going to get force willed. So Let's see what they exile at least. Oh, it resolved. Shocking. <laughs> oh lord lord give me strength uh, 
missing quagmire. Blooming marsh, I guess. <laughs> Okie dokie. <sighs> Vamp tutor for treachery. Yeah, that's probably the ticket. Okay. No, just a good old fashioned murder. Oh boy. Wall of Roots, Verdant Catacombs. Okay, well, not the worst. Oh, someone pledging on Patreon. I appreciate you, Justin. Thank you for the support. Good times. How about a Rex Age? Grave Daddy. One, two, three, four. Well, at least we're still in it. No, just these two Titans. Sad day. Man, goal is to be MVP here. We can just uh, activate one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. What if we draw Golos, hit two lands off the top, activate the same turn? Let's do it. Inferno Titan is all, all Titans are in Vintage Cube. And for you to imply that the Titans aren't worth being in the cubes, it's just insulting, Mike. Come on. Dokey. Guess they're gonna steal our turn. Well, we have nothing in our hand, so like they just get to play thieving skydiver for two. Like it's nice because if they attack with Grave Titan, we make more zombies to block the Shinobi. So I think they're just gonna attack with Oracle. Probably eat the Oracle. Oh, Rex Sage off the top is a nice one. See, now they might just kill the Fallen Shinobi. This is this is actually working quite well. I'm surprised that we're still alive and, you know, in it, I guess. How many channel points to control draft picks? Show me with your hands since you're muted. I'm not muted. Oh, I muted for you. I was like, muted? I'm talking right now. You got it. I'm just going to tap all my lands. Sure. I mean, this deck has so many two and three drops, and even four drops. I'm actually just surprised that, like, oh, interesting. I'm actually mostly just surprised that we just aren't drawing anything. EAG, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Three month. Thanks. Like Cleesmo, thank you for the resub, buddy. All right, we're on your turn now. That's my second longest relationship ever. I'm so proud. I'm glad it could be me, buddy. Wow, how did we win this game? <laughs> what? I mean, we had this guy coming up too. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, now that we've seen control magic, we're definitely bringing in acidic slime. I also feel like this is a fine plow under deck. Like we should be able to go like land, signet, cultivate, plow under or something. Mox diamond. 
Oh, them W bits? I mean, I want to be honest. Our deck seems fine. I don't actually know what's going on. Simply heaven. Good job winning it for me. Hey, man, I got you. I would never let you down, Shoe Garner. Never gonna give you up. We don't even have any mana dorks. I guess we have, uh, I guess we literally just have Wall of Roots. Oh, I'm definitely copying that. That's that's enticing. Hey, look, we did draw Wall of Roots. Mm, deal. Well, I guess we're hoping they don't have Fallen Shinobi. No blocks. Well, they don't have, they don't have fourth land, so that's a good sign for us, I guess. Well, that's fun. We have Treachery and Demonic Tutor in our deck. Yeah, we should have attacked first. See, this is what I mean. Like, I'm just making, like, really bonehead plays. I wanted to not use Wall of Roots so we can still block the lifelink one and trade with the death touch one. And I don't even want to do that. Light Steel Colossus, sure. Mm -hmm. Shinobi off the top would be excellent because we have two creatures that we don't mind returning to our hands. Demonic Tutor will also be decent. I think I'll deal with that.
Oof. Did not get countered. I also have a 6 6 death toucher. I feel like this looter's doing some work, man. Okay. Big trophy spending G's. So they just block with the death touch guy. But then they can't block Null Priest. They can block one zombie. We get two more zombies. Is this worth it to attack? I don't actually know. Block here, block here. They go to 23, but they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They go to 17. I don't think it's worth it. And I think one of the biggest flaws of this deck is we don't have card advantage. One of the things I tell myself every time the Vintage Cube rolls around is make sure your deck has some way to refill. Whether it's like Factor Fiction, Ancestor Recall, something, Mull Drifter even. Well, they were going to be paying costs, and then they're like, no, I'll attack with my looter instead. Thank you. Okay, they did nothing again. One, two, three, four. Interesting. Eric, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I mean, this dude's 100% getting countered, right? I think now we're going to do that, that crazy wild attack. Because it might cause them to use mana that they otherwise might not... Might not use. I mean, my theory is still Worm on Zombie, Worm on Grave Titan. That's how I think it's going to go. Worm on Grave Titan. Nope, that's not going to work. Do people not know this has Menace? I don't understand. Do they not read Null Priest or... Yep, it's okay. Okay, so exactly how we said it would go. I mean, I'm going to assume they have Force of Will, because... They've had a lot of cards in their hand for a long time. Oh, 
Oh, oh my God. Oh no, bad things. It's gotta be a blue or a red card. Oh, they're tutoring up something. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, we get to get back Worm Coil or Grave Titan here, so. Also, if they treachery our guy. I mean, we get it back, so that's something I don't really care about. I may just get back Phantasmal Image and copy the Scarab God, which would put the first one back to our hand. Uh, oh, they're probably just going to kill it? Is this a Toxic Deluge for five? Because this guy still goes back to my hand and I get a two three threes, which is pretty sweet. Feel, feeling a Deluge here. Let's watch their life total go down. Yeah, there it is. Um... Any order, we get our we get two three threes and our scarab god comes back. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh god. Never gets easier. Yep. Wow, I was feeling really good about that until they went Tinker into Blightsteel. Like you do. Guess we get one draw step. Maybe. Unless they cryptic tap our team. Yep. Ah, oh, boy. I guess we can... Phant no, Phantasmal doesn't do it. Sure. Cool. Yeah, go, go games. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Oko is not our only out. Treachery was an out. Mm, thieving Skydiver for 13. 14 is an out. I mean, we have Demonic Tutor to get those. So we have three cards that we could have hit. Oko, Treachery, Demonic Tutor. What does Trophy do? Trophy doesn't do anything. Cool. Let's try for the old classic one-two. The old... This season of Vintage Cube... Classic one, two. I mean, Mox, Mox Diamond would be great here. Then we can go Ashiok on turn two and then Cultivate. And instead, we get a, a Swamp Arena. Well, our opponent's 0-1, so we're clearly evenly matched. Yep, that seems fine. Should be able to hit a bunch of creatures that we can get. Let's see. Oh, Thalia and a... Send me an angel. Oh, good. And I, uh, <laughs> oh, God. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
second green, second black, I guess. Second blue. Goes up to five. We basically lose it next turn. No, I guess that's not true because we can play Primeval Titan. Oh, but then we don't get to activate again, so maybe it's actually just Thalia to trade. So if we put Ashiok up to five, he takes four, goes to they take four, go to one. Um, we're not going to be able to play Primeval Titan and activate Ashiok next turn because of the Eidolon. So Ashiok's just going to die anyway. So we might as well just get a creature out of it. It's so awkward how, how much how much impact Eidolon happened to have right now in this match. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, languish my fucking kingdom for a languish over here. Uh, let's get Hissing Quagmire and Blooming Marsh. Just lands that are going to come into play tapped. I mean, next time we're... Oh, okay, we just win the game. <laughs> All right, well, that'll do, pig. Let's bring in Languish. Let's bring in Thrag Tusk instead of Plow Under. Thieving Skydiver doesn't seem very effective here. Shift into white. Yeah, just shift into white. That's the thing you can do. You just shift into it. Just make it happen. OG top deck. Thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Keep Marsh into search. Oh, that's the that's ticket. This is actually great. Turn two Null Priest, turn three Shinobi off of Null Priest. Oh boy. We're going to live the dream one time, I swear. Yeah, I don't care about that guy. Everything's coming up Millhouse here, guys. My feet are soaked, but my cuffs are bone dry. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Uh, no blocks. Oh yeah. Oh, this is it. This is the this is the ticket. Let's get another island. Something good. Ah, uh, you know what? Name this gentleman. Oh, okay. All right. After two very disappointing rounds, uh, we do come back to win one anticlimactic round. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frank4manitraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. Every Wednesday, Manitraders has a great subscription service. You can get 15% off with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to use those guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.